guys, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So I, one, am trying like this blue purple makeup look and I can't tell if it looks good. And then this nude lipstick I feel like is a little bit too light. It was just a hot mess but I'm like it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Anyway, so for a very brief while on my channel, I was doing a series called Gems and Junk series and I was doing like basically a monthly favorite series and then I would pick one or two items that I really didn't like that month. And then for a couple months, I actually took a hiatus because I like stopped accumulating so much makeup. So I like stopped having so many opinions. Uh, but I have recently got more makeup and skincare items. So I think I will revive this series back and let's jump into this month's Gems and Junk. So the very first gem of this month is this IT Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. It is like, you can already see that like my is really flat um, because I have used this almost on a daily basis. I really like their CC cream as well. And then when I picked this up, it was just like a better version of the CC cream. And it is not the most long lasting thing, but it is SPF 50 and it actually wears away really nicely. So what I mean by that is like some foundations, I feel like when you put it on your face and then like after a while it will start, at least for me, getting a little bit cakey because like the oils are trying to like seep out of my foundation but it's like not letting it. And then it just kind of like starts separating um, or it gets a little bit weird but this actually starts wearing away very nicely. It's almost like it mixes with the oils of my face and just like gradually fades away which I'm personally okay with. Like I don't need to look full coverage, perfect 18 hours out of the day because I'm not awake for that many hours. But I, at a certain point, just like would rather have the foundation wear away nicely than look a little bit cakey on my face. So this formula is freaking awesome, you guys. I'm like about to buy another two, but I'm like in between light and medium, which that's something I want to comment on is that their shade range literally sucks. I feel like they have like six shades, so you just kind of have to work with what they have. If you happen to be a shade that is available, I would definitely recommend this formula. The second gem of this month is actually this pretty vulgar little like ink pot. This is their cream eyeliner and you probably won't be able to see inside because it's like literally very black, but it's a very cute little like jar it looks like an you know an ink and quill jar and the top just screws on it's a pretty big volume it's six grams or 0 0.2 ounces honestly i will not use this much before it starts to like dry up probably probably uh but i did get it off of a boxy charm like months ago before i quit boxy charm i'm wearing it right now on my eyes but I have like one hooded eye and my eyelids get really oily and it's very 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 rare for me to find a gel eyeliner that doesn't just like become everywhere on my eyes and make me look like a raccoon. I feel like even if I am sweating like this is I would say comparable to like a lot of like the l liquid eyeliner pens out there so for me my holy grails are the Stila one and then the Kat Von D one. I feel like this performs basically just as well and you can actually get it more black because you can layer it on. So it does take more time, obviously, than the eyeliner pens, but to me, if you're looking for a really black gel liner that stays on and, like, doesn't want to come off, this is it. So the third gem I have for you is in this pretty little container. So it is the brand Doll Face, and it is actually a makeup remover. It's a cleansing cold cream, um, and... It kind of just looks like this. I feel like the contrast of the camera is not going to let you see it, but it's, like, a pretty solid... Um, cream and I think it's 100% coconut oil uh, with some stuff added in but this stuff is really nice and it like smooths onto your hands really nice. It actually washes off pretty cleanly with water. Um, it doesn't leave like a super greasy feel or anything and it does a really good job of just melting that makeup off your face especially if you have stuff that's really hard to remove like the eyeliner pot um, and stuff like that or liquid lipsticks I just want to stay on all day. With this stuff, because it's so thick, it's actually really easy for you to like put some on your face and just let it sit for a little while because it won't run into your eyes or anything. Uh, and so it hasn't made me break out either, which is really amazing. But the only like one little complaint about I have about this is that it actually smells kind of funny. Um, not like in a gross way, but just in like an unpleasant way. I feel like 
most of the time I use it, I put it on my face and then I get in the shower while it's dissolving the makeup off my face and I'm like shampooing my hair. Usually like the smell of my shampoo overpowers like the weird smell of this and then I'm okay. Um, but yeah, just be aware of that if you are picking this up. But this is a super affordable like cold cleansing cream that gets all the makeup off. So the next item is actually an app. I know it's not beauty or makeup related, but I really wanted to share with, with you guys because it's a free app. And so I will like actually scoot over here and maybe pop it up on this side. Um, so if you guys have like followed me for a little bit, you know that I was just in Taiwan like last month or the month prior, um, like June, July-ish. And I was only there for two weeks, but I gained four pounds in two weeks because I was eating a lot. Um, and so for me, like I get really bored at the gym because I just like don't know what to do or I'm like really bad at pushing myself. And so this is an app that's really convenient actually. So it's called 7M or 7M Woman. And it's basically like a variety of makeup courses, makeup courses, that's where my brain is at, workout courses that will target like fat loss or your butt or abs um, or high intensity workouts and you kind of just pick what's best for you and it the levels are listed like beginner intermediate advanced it lists how many minutes and about how many calories you're gonna burn so I usually use it for ab workouts because I feel like I'm really good at like excusing myself after like not that many reps and so when you click in so like say you go into this ab blaster it actually shows you all of the workouts that are included and then you can go ahead and just hit start it will probably give you an ad because it is a free app and then you just hit I'm ready when you're ready and it gives you a countdown for both like when you are getting ready and then also like during the actual workout and it will tell you like oh you're halfway there or like what's next it'll show you a graphic of what's coming up and um, you can of course adjust the volume I'm gonna turn it down because I'm recording it, the, the video but you can also have like Spotify or other music open at the same time in the background like on your phone and they'll like both play and so it doesn't offer music in the app but you can like play music outside of the app you know what I mean anyway I just really like this app because it's a free it's very similar to like active but you have to pay for that one and it's great for beginners because everything is like seven to twelve minutes which if you're like really lazy like me or have a short attention span like me something like this is perfect so on to my one junk item of this month. If you haven't watched my tutorials at all, you will know that I like basically never use any form of primer on my eyes or my face. And I'm less concerned about my face because I don't have a problem with how foundation lays on my face. But I always like, like the idea of eye primers just because I have hooded eyes and sometimes depending on the eyeshadow, it just won't last all day on my eyes. And I heard really good things about this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. But alas, like every other eye primer I've tried, it just doesn't work like I feel like it makes my eyelids almost more oily and then the eyeshadow just like doesn't stick quite as well like right from the start I feel like when I'm not using eye primer eyeshadow will go on really well and then like as the day goes on it starts wearing off but with like any form of eye primer like even this one it just it just won't stay on like I don't know does anybody else have this problem I feel like it's maybe one less thing for me to spend money on but yeah, this product did not work for me, even though I know a lot of people love it. So that's it from me today. I feel really, like, out of practice from filming these, like, favorites videos just because it has been so long. But I hope you guys do enjoy this series and that you enjoyed today's video. And let me know what you think of any of the items I've listed, what you think of this weird makeup look I put together just now, and I don't know if I was feeling it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!